Hello, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences. We're going to take a look at fasting and what that does to the live cell sample. What it looks like fasted and what it looks like not fasted. And there are very key things that we do see from fasted blood versus non. One of the reasons why people fast can be numerous different things. It can be for weight management. It can be for religious reasons. It could be to help clean up the microbiome. And it can be just overall, people can water fast um, and people can do dry fasting. Um, and these are both restricting food and water intake. These are, are uh, numerous ways people will fast. Some of the things that people may find um, it controls is it can control your blood sugar. It can control, like I said, your weight management. It can control cellular repair. And there's a lot of talk about when there's no food for the body to nourish, it allows the immune system to focus on other things and be able to clean up some of the garbage in the system. People will also do it for anti-aging reasons and they find it really helps them for anti-aging. There's lots of other reasons that many people fast. So let's take a look at what the live cell looks like with a fasted blood. I personally fast about 16, eight. I stop eating at about nine or 10 at night and then I don't start eating till about one or two in the afternoon. I like it that way, it works for me, it keeps my weight down um, and sometimes I'll have a black coffee in the morning but overall I enjoy fasting and I find it works really well for me. So here's what the live cell looks like. So here is fasted live cell. Now you will see once I show you the slide that someone that's not fasted and has eaten, you're gonna see a difference in this background. But right now fasted, you're seeing this background being completely black, which is great. Um, it's not showing there's any food digesting. So we're gonna kind of move around here. We are seeing in this client a little bit of Rouleau, which can indicate acidity, a little bit of liver toxins, things like that. And we are seeing things to indicate we may need a little bit of lymphatic support in this client. Here's the immune system. Now, he's not doing much right now, which is good. He doesn't have anything to do, but I can kind of see down here, he's glistening a little bit or the granules are moving a little bit. So he's active. He's just awaiting something to do and there's nothing going on here. So there's nothing that he needs to address. There's no bacteria, there's no parasites, things like that. In this individual, the cell structures look quite thick and really nice. This is an irregular cell and we've got some bumpy cells over here that are lacking a little bit of water. I'm very happy with the thickness of the outside of the red blood cells. As I keep moving through, here's another immune. Now this one's dying off, it's not doing much, and you've got some new cells emerging here. And again, as I want to note, we're not seeing any food digesting throughout the sample, which would be snowing. It would look like snowing in the background. These little blobs you're seeing here is fats not digesting as well. And this little guy right here with some, some little dots inside, same with up here, those are ones with parasites inside and those are eggs. Again, a little bit of parasite cells. So this is what a fasted blood looks like. Um, and overall, it's nice to see because we can see the background really well. We don't ask our clients to come fasted or not fasted. Um, we want them to come as they are because then we can really get an idea of how they're digesting in general, um, one way or another. So, but when you come non-fasted, it can sometimes be a little bit easier for us to see a bit more in the background. Um, so that's something really interesting. So now I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna show you what a, a blood type that's non-fasted. So here is some live cell. Now this is what it looks like kind of in between as you're starting to absorb your food. If you can see, and I hope you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit. There's little tiny fluttering 
happening in the background. We call this symprofit, and that's how food nourishes the red blood cells. Um, it's supposed to be in the plasma because that's how it's supposed to move around the body. So here again, we're seeing kind of little flutterings here. When an individual has eaten and we have the food that has hit the bloodstream, we again will see like a blizzard happening here. And I'm going to show you that next. What we are looking at is an individual, red blood cells and the plasma. And if we zoom in a little bit more, we can see kind of snowing in the plasma background. What that is, it's called Symprofit. And that is food digesting in our blood system and nourishing the cells. So this is what an individual would look like if they eaten about an hour ago. If they ate something very, very heavy, it would show a lot more. In this next sample, this is somebody different. Um, this individual is a little older and is showing inflammation and quite a bit of liver toxins. When you see these cells are stacked on top like that, that indicates uh, a little bit of acidity in the system as well as inflammation. So as we move around this sample, again, we can see that snowing in the back background or some profit in the background um, and that's really how this really differs from seeing it fasting we do not have any some profit in the background the cells aren't being nourished at that time one of the things i definitely see a huge difference between fasting is the immune system and when comparing numerous samples the immune system definitely is more spiked active we see more neutrophils actively moving around the sample I do also find that a lot of people seem to be thriving on fasting. A lot of my clients, they feel good fasted. It can maintain their weight. So I wanted to give you this video just showing you what the before and after looks like of fasting. So one thing we're really noticing with the fasting is that um, when you fast, it really boosts the immune system. We can see the immune system working a lot more, moving around, things like that. The other thing that it could also help with is leaky gut. And this is when pathogens and things like that make the gut leaky. So it could be a huge help in helping with that leaky gut. Um, of course, like I said earlier, it really helps cleaning up the terrain and the immune doing so. Um, so I'm a strong advocate of fasting. Um, if you can't go as long as I do, um, even short windows is really great for the body um, and it helps with that insulin levels and so on. So if you like this video, uh, please like, subscribe and comment below.